Here you are again, watching another YouTube video. You tell yourself that it's education and you're learning, but realistically, you're not doing the work you're meant to be doing. You've probably already scrolled down to the comments or looked onto the side you know, bar of YouTube um, because your brain is the size of an absolute goldfish, but I'm going to be honest. You know, you probably know what you need to do, but you're just not avoiding it. You're, you've got major procrastination. You probably feel like you are bound to achieve success, but you lack the effort that's required to get you there. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to kill procrastination once and for all. I'm going to give you the most powerful methods out there for doing so. And it's really up to you whether you watch this video or not. You can continue to watch you know, another video and that's completely fine. Or you can watch this video and potentially change your life, change your habits and be able to do some work for once. So when it comes to procrastination, what we're really dealing with here is impulse control. You know, when you get the urge to, you know, go on your phone or you accidentally pick up your phone or, um, you know, you get a notification on your phone and you immediately just look to see what it is or yeah, you're on, you know, you're doing some work on your laptop or PC and then you suddenly go on for you, uh, onto YouTube for no reason. That is like impulse. You're doing it quickly. So to kill impulse control, that really comes with consistency. Now, now how do we gain consistency when it comes to becoming better at impulse control? What I want you to do immediately after watching this video is get a piece of paper or a whiteboard and every single urge you get that you do not um, partake in so let's say you get the urge to pick up your phone and you don't do it you know you get that voice that's telling you you know go on Instagram or go on you know another social media and scroll but you decide no I'm not going to do that you're going to put a one I don't know why I didn't write but you're going to put a one every single time you do that and then you'll get about 50 to 100 to maybe 500 times a day, you're going to feel these urges. And for every time you do not partake in these urges, you're going to put another one. And what's going to happen is you're going to create a tally like this. And the goal of the tally is to beat yesterday's tally. So that is one way how you deal with impulse control on a very core fundamental level. But this video is a lot more about actually procrastination and how to get the work done, how to get the hard work, which you all know that you should be doing, but you're, you know, once again, watching this YouTube video and I've caught you red handed. Um, so when it comes to achieving goals and, um, you know, actually just getting to where you want to be in life, you only really need three to four hours a day. And I really mean that you don't need to work eight to 10 hours a day. What I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to explain two things before I explain the main thing of this video, so keep watching. But what we essentially have, right, is we have lag indicators. So lag indicators. And we've got lead indicators. So what are lag indicators and lead indicators? Lag indicators are essentially the, the end results that you are striving to achieve. So what I mean by that is your final goals. That are, that's lag indicators. Now lead indicators are the actions, we got this down here, the actions required to get to the lag indicators. Very important. So what we really need to understand is how can we do these actions? So what I'm going to give you right are three blocks, blocks of work. And this honestly can make you five figures a month with very little work, but you need to know what, how to do this. So essentially, right, we've got a strategic block. Let me write this here. So strategic, strategic block. Let's put it like this. And this is going to be two to three hours. And this is going to be the core work that's done in the day that's going to cause breakthrough results and move the needle in your business. 
the strategic block, the most important block. The next one is a buffer block. So let me put buffer block. And the buffer block is essentially 30 to 60 minutes. That is a very bad 60, but hopefully you get the point nonetheless of just dealing with you know light tasks or you know responding to team uh you know members or clients or things like that that's very you know non um hard work basically it's just light work you can maybe you know be doing other stuff whilst doing this or doing multiple different things um and this is basically to gain control over the day this 30 to 60 minutes this the strategic block is to cause breakthrough results, to move the needle in your business. So this should be something that's hard. So creating content like what I'm doing, doing cold calls. It could be doing your outreach. Ideally, you'd want to have that automated. But if, if you're a complete beginner and you don't, then you know, it is what it is. But this is something that's going to cause breakthrough results. Or it could be you know, service delivery. Um, now, this one is very light work down here which you can maybe barely see. But this is going to be about three hours a day. So nonetheless, it's still quite a bit of time. But this could be going to the gym whilst listening to a podcast. Or it could be going for a walk you know, whilst listening to a podcast. Or it could be, you know, when you're your, your PC or your you know, laptop or whatever, and you're you know, listening to a bit of music, you're responding to people. That would be like a light, the light block, basically. Um, and this is all you need. Let me write this down here. This is all you need to achieve 10k a month, to be honest with you. You don't need any like complicated strategies. You need these buffer blocks. You need, and that is a really bad 10k a month. It looks more like 110, but <laughs> you get the point. All you need is a strategic block, two to three hours, something that's gonna move the needle, like a core hard activity, a buffer block of 30 to 60 minutes to respond to all the unplanned things during the day. You've got, and then a light three hours, which is, more just like information um, and maybe just looking back on your strategic block or what you need to be doing day to day or learning new things. And this part is mainly to induce, induce creativity. I don't know if you can see that. Indu uh, induce creativity to get better thinking. So another thing could be to create innovation or innovative thinking, I'll put thinking. So yeah, creativity, very important as an entrepreneur. So now that's that. And if you do these three blocks, you're going to become, and bear in mind, this is only like less than five hours a day of work, probably. That's all you need. But the problem is most of you spend eight hours doing things that aren't actually moving the needle in your business. So that is, is the main core blocks you need to actually get shit done. But now, when it comes to something else that's very important, let me rub this out quickly, it is perfectly fine to do your degenerate bad habits. So watching a movie or uh, gaming or YouTube or, you know, other things. Now, in a perfect scenario, we wouldn't do any of this. But if you're going to go on YouTube, don't go on YouTube for education or, you know, trying to do like that kind of stuff. Because you've got to realize that thousands of other people have seen the exact same video. So by nature, it's completely overexposed. Entropy, which you know, essentially states that everything in life is deteriorating, you watching this video, you are deteriorating. When you buy a car, it's going to depreciate or deteriorate over time. When you, you know, buy a house, same. You know, everything is bound towards entropy. But something, you know, that increases entropy is overexposure, which can enhance entropy a hundredfold or tenfold. So if you're going to go on YouTube, I recommend just going on it for an hour or two hours right at the end of the day after you've done your strategic block, your deep work for like three hours and just watching whatever the hell you want. Same, you can watch a movie at night. 
or do gaming. In a perfect world, we would like read a book or something, but you know, your, your brains are probably the size of like a, yeah, as I mentioned, like a literal like pea. So, you know, maybe you do need some type of stimulation. Um, and this will, I'm not a huge fan in burnout, but I do think that we should do things that we like occasionally. Um, otherwise, you will just <laughs> probably become depressed. But in a perfect world, this would probably be like, you know, better habits, like, I don't know, playing sport or something like that. But if you want to do these things, you can do it. Because at the end of the day, right, everything in life is cause and effect. That is all it is. Achieving success or getting what you want, you are a series or a chain of cause and effect relationships away from getting there. So you do one thing, I'll put a one, you're going to get something. So it doesn't matter what else you fill your day with, as long as you get the cause and effect done basically, which is the most important part. So that is essentially how I would go about procrastination. First of all, what we talked about was impulse control, writing down every time you resist the urge to do something and trying to beat yesterday's score. The second thing I talked about was the three blocks for how to actually get shit done. You've got the strategic block, which is two to three hours of you know deep work. Then you've got 30 to 60 minutes, which is the buffer block which is responding to all the unplanned things you know, throughout the duration of the day to gain control over the day. And then we have the light work block, which is just doing other stuff, going to the gym, listening to a podcast, all that good stuff. And then I talked about cause and effect, which is very important. And you can do the things you want just after you've done the three blocks. Because if you've done the you know, actions, then you're going to get outputs. So... Hopefully this video helped and hopefully you don't just continue to watch more YouTube videos after this. And if you're going to watch any, watch mine. I'm joking. Um, but yeah, hit the like button, subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you want you know, to make your procrastination even worse because I post like way too many stories on there. But once again, I'm creating, not consuming. So that's something you should do. Um, and actually one more thing that I forgot to mention was feed blockers, something that I use, and I know a lot of people in agency style, which is my school community, also use. And essentially, you can get feed blockers for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you know, TikTok, whatever platforms you're probably addicted to. You can essentially remove all of them by getting, um, you know, there's one for Chrome extension. I think it's called like Focus, like YouTube or something like that. For these, you can use like... Um, Opal, I think it's called, um, but you can find feed blockers that essentially allow you to go onto these platforms, but you can only create or you can only respond to DMs or do the work you're actually meant to do. So feed blockers is something I probably should have mentioned prior, but nonetheless, a very good tool for getting shit done and not you know, going onto YouTube. And if you combine feed blockers with impulse control and the method I just explained about writing down every single time as a tally like this, every single time you resist going on to social media or doing bad habits or yeah, doing things you shouldn't be really, then you're going to become a beast. And if you can just become 1% better each day, that is like what, 36, 37 times better a year. So hopefully this video helped. If it did, once again, like, comment and subscribe, follow me on Instagram and watch this other video that I'll probably put up here somewhere. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.